entrepreneurship strategy indicates that women entre entrepreneurs could be adding up to $150 million to the economy. And with the number of women entrepreneurs increasing in 2022, seems like we're going to achieve this goal, right? Wrong, because we have a problem. Women are not seizing opportunities to get in front of their audiences. They're not being seen, heard, found, or hired, which means it's impacting their confidence, their self-esteem, and the survivability of their businesses. It happened to me. Many women are struggling to find ways to show up and feeling confident and authentic. And they're fearing being judged for what they look like, how they sound, especially online and as we age. I'm Danielle Jaworski. My business is my name. And through coaching events and conversations and hashtag visibility truths, I'm helping to normalize what it actually means to become more visible as an entrepreneur so that women can grow their businesses faster, easier, and create the impact that they imagine. We were doing our final reflection at the end of a two-day workshop and I came to one participant and she was emotional. She took a minute, collected herself and said, I've worked for this organization for 28 years and in 28 years, I've never been asked for my input or my opinion in the way that I have in the last two days with you. I can honestly say that it was in that moment that I knew I was leaving the corporation and starting my own business because the work I was doing with teams had to go beyond one corporation. We spend most of our waking hours at work, which means we spend most of our waking hours with the people we work with. So to not feel valued, to not feel connected, to not feel like you can provide input for 28 years is not okay. I custom design team building experiences that help build trust, increase engagement, and improve communication because life is too short to hate going to work. My name is Diane Gagnon. My business is Diane Gagnon Dynamics, and I help leaders build teams that people want to be on. Hi, I'm Emily Edwards. I'm a registered nurse and creator of Dementia Doula School, the first and only specialized dementia doula training program in North America. Like birth doula training programs, we train folks from all sorts of backgrounds with or without healthcare experience to provide highly skilled one-to-one -one private pay companionship that actually impacts the quality of life of these people. It gives caregivers a truly trustworthy source of respite and gives them their life back. This is the solution that we've been looking for to this massive caregiving crisis here in Canada. It also is a way for care work to become a viable and vibrant source of income for entrepreneurs, especially moms. My name is Melanie Cote. I am the mother of two children, Shane, who's 13, and Alma, who's 10, who was born with a disability. And I am the founder of Do Good Donuts. As young adults with disabilities, like my daughter, face a staggering unemployment rate. 85% of youth with intellectual or developmental disabilities are unemployed. Do Good was created to hire and train young adults with disabilities to give them the skills, the experience, and the confidence to move into jobs in the community. In the two years of our pilot program at Farmer's Markets, we've sold more than 15,000 donuts and countless cookies. And this year, we are scaling our business into our brick and mortar location. In our new bakery and cafe facility, we will be running a full production bakery and also serving people in-house. We'll be in the back preparing our orders for wholesale, for retail, for our new mail order cookie business launching this fall, and also for catering. We've catered for Daniel's Court, for Fidelity. We've even catered the set of a Disney movie. We are so excited to move this business forward. This is my dream. It is absolutely a work of heart for me. It means so much to me to know that my daughter will see people like her at work. Hi, my name is Kathleen Francis. I'm a registered nurse. I've worked in the long-term care sector for 30 years in various leadership roles. I am the founder and CEO of Dragonheart Staffing and Recruitment Inc. I am very aware of the staffing crisis that exists. Dragonheart provides temporary or permanent staffing to long-term care homes. Our employees are provided training based on three decades of lived experience, so they may be equipped with knowledge and skills not taught in schools giving them tools to help them succeed with confidence. Stats show that by 2029, 58,600 healthcare workers will be needed. By 2035, one in four Canadians will be 65 years and over. In 10 years, demand will increase by an average of 38%. 
Dragonheart is here to support long-term care homes by recruiting and onboarding qualified healthcare professionals who remain predominantly women. So let's change the negative LTC media coverage and gain back the trust of families and the public.